Greetings, greetings, greetings. Hmm. I want to add some people. Um, let's see. I haven't been live in a very, very long time. Hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> hey, sister. I'm like, is anybody here? Um, Because I haven't been live in a while. And I was trying to add some people in for some reason. I couldn't add anybody in. I don't know. You can't hear me? Hmm. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me at all? about that okay you can hear me now i'll be looking in to see um if at any time the sound goes out because usually i have my headset on but my little three-year-old ran around somewhere with it and misplaced it so i gotta find it um because when i have that headset on when i have the piece and you can really really hear me much clearer and i don't have to worry about holding my phone so now you can hear me that's good okay so i wanted to see if anybody else was going to come in if not it would be me and you sis um we're going to continue on because this is recorded and they'll be able to um come in so mm, we want to first just give thanks give thanks give thanks <sighs> let's take some deep breaths and just give thanks mm, give thanks so this ritual, I want to talk a little bit about it. Um, and I just want to give thanks for you for showing up and give thanks for those who will listen later on to this recording. Um, and to my coven sisters, this is one of, going to be one of our foundational uh, rituals that we're using in the Yanni Soul journey. So I'll make sure um, that each of you have um, a recording of this. I'll put it in our private group. This is a foundational ritual that I use Every single day I learned from one of my teachers some time ago, and I absolutely love it. It's a light ritual, and it's for protection. And it's a, it's a bit um, different with adding the roses and the bubble of light together and giving you that extra protection. So I want to share a couple um, things. One of them is the... Um, one of the rituals that I do with the roses, which is a really basic one. Um, and we know the rose is one of the highest vibrations um, in the universe, in our earth. The flower, the essence of the rose itself is super high vibration. Um, and then also it has the thorns on it for protection. So one of the meditations that I just do, just I do, aside from this one, is just imagine myself surrounded by um pink roses so they're just kind of wrapped all the way around my body so that i'm still presenting with love okay there we go we have some folks here hi peace and blessings thank you for coming on um but i was just giving like a little a, another little ritual not the main one but another one that i usually do as well um and that one is just i put myself surrounded by um 
um, pink roses. And from the top of my head all the way down to the sole of my feet, I just imagine a, a vine of roses just surrounding my body. And that's just saying I'm protected. The thorns protect me, yet I'm still presenting with love. So that's just a quick one that I use just like all the time. And I usually teach to, just to use um, all the time. But what I'm going to teach you... What I'm going to teach you, um, this one, this is um, the Rose Bubble of Light Protection Soul Light Ritual, okay? And it's foundational and it's one that you can use all the time, um, particularly, so when you use this, you're going to use it, um, say, before you go out the door. Um, when you wake up in the morning, actually, when I wake up in the morning, as part of my morning rituals, this is... Um, and if at any point, please let me know if you can't hear me. Okay. Um, cause like I said, I am greetings, greetings, sis. I am holding this phone. I usually don't, but I, um, I, um, I use this first thing in the morning. There's rituals that I do before I even get out the bed. And this is one of the rituals that I do before I get out of bed. So along with soaking in love, giving thanks and really pulling in, I call it my, my love bed and pulling in love and energy and Reiki into my body. I also um, do this, do this particular protection ritual. I like to do it before I even get out the bed, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes, you know, after I get up, um, I'll do it shortly after I get out the bed. Oh, <laughs> like shortly, right shortly after I get out the bed, um, I do this. Um, sometimes in the bathroom. So you can use this, um, this rose bubble of protection ritual, the personal protection, um, bubble. You can use this at any time, particularly say like you're going in a crowd of people, you're going out in public right before you leave your house. I want to say use this before, at least before you leave your house. If you're going anywhere where there's just like a lot of energy, mm -hmm. um, it's also good for you. Those of us who are very sensitive to energies, I mean, empathic people, witches, you know, priestesses, all of us who really feel energies. This is going to be a good, easy, protective um, ritual that you could do at any time. You could do it any time. So because it's visualization in the sacred air, which is breath. OK, so um, also I want to tell you before you get on um, social media, this is, you can do this ritual, okay? I, I don't really, um, I don't know if I really talk about it often, but I really limit the amount of um, like social media that I take in, like with the news and like, I really don't watch the news. I pick and choose. My husband get mad at me because he'd be like, you need to know what's going on in this country, you know, because I'm a social worker um, as part of my training and my history and my, my background because I'm all, you know, all about that justice and stuff and also just what's going on in the world. But I create my, my world. <laughs> so regardless, regardless of what's going on in the world, I'm creating my own world. So that's one thing. But um, secondly, when I do do that, I always make sure I put extra protection. Sometimes you just got to see what's going on, what's happening, you know. Um, and also when you're scrolling through social media, it's so much energy that I can't, I just can't even take it. I cannot, I cannot scroll. <laughs> I can't scroll through Facebook or Twitter. I, I definitely can't do Twitter. Um, I'm not on Twitter at all. So I'm always very protective of my energy. In fact, um, and I'm probably pretty late about this, but do you know about Facebook groups? Oh my God, like I just discovered Facebook groups. If you do not have the app Facebook groups on your um, phone, I need you to get that now because what you could do is one, add Womb Goddess Circle as your favorite, put it on your phone so you could just click on it and all your other favorite groups. And oh my God, is like, I just discovered this and you just have it on your phone and you can just go to your favorite groups. You do not have to like scroll through, search for your groups. And then you can also minimize the notifications in your groups too. And then also minimize the notifications on your Facebook group app. So Facebook just got real tricky where you have to go in on the app and you got to keep minimizing those notifications. So I'm telling you these things. Um, so to protect your energy. To protect your energy. So Facebook groups, uh, get that app, okay? <laughs> Add Womb Goddess Circle on there, okay? So you can have access in all your favorite groups that you just like to go to so that you can minimize how much energy you're taking in. Because um, as much as I actually love to use Facebook for divination, and I do, 
I like to use it for divination because sometimes you might scroll through or you might connect with this person or that person. You see this and you're like, and you can use it as a form of divination. Um, and it's awesome in that way, but also you really want to protect your energy. So minimizing those notifications, using Facebook groups and um, being mindful of um, protect myself even in social media, particularly in social media, because we have so much um, people have so much access to so much in the universe through social media. It's a medium. So that's one thing I love to use this for this and it will protect you in that area. And it feels so good. I really enjoy this ritual using it in the morning. So that's um, I want to say what else did I want to say about that? I think that's pretty much it. Um, the times where first thing in the morning, I suggest going out in public. Um, when you know that you have to connect with someone or a place of people that, um, you know, it may be some energy that and you have to deal with that. I really um, am in a place where I choose <laughs> who I'm going to be around. And if I have to up my protection, my colors and all that type of stuff, then I probably should not be around you. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm not going to be around you. I'm going to set those boundaries, but sometimes you have to go in certain areas and stuff like that. And um, th this is the time where you really want to up your protection going out in public and stuff like that. Particularly now um, you see my head is not covered. You all haven't seen me in a long time. My head is not covered. This is my like first time really exposing my head in, in a about a year since I initiated as a womb priestess, I had my hair covered for about a year. So um, I'm really kind of doing a lot more covering because I don't, I don't have my, like my, my covering for my head. I was actually going to do another big chop, but then um, I kind of got blocked from it. Y'all. Um, I know this is like a little sidebar, but it all matters. Right. Um, and I kind of got blocked from it. My niece wasn't available to keep my daughter so I can cut my hair, but it was a blessing in disguise because I didn't really consult my king about if I should cut my hair, <laughs> cut my hair or not. So I thought, Ooh, okay. Yeah, I probably should consult him. And then when I actually end up saying, well, babe, I'm, you know, I think I'm going to cut my hair, blah, blah, blah. And he, I come to find out, he was like, well, I like you. To, I like it when you wear your hair out. So I was just like, Okay, see, you know, spirit work because I always want to be um, respectful of him in that way. So, um, yeah, so now not wear my head covering, which most of us do. Most of us who practice um, African goddess movement and stuff like that, we kind of keep our head covered. So this gives me like that extra, like, okay, I feel protected. I don't have my head covered, but it's okay. But, you know, I'll throw some crystals in my fro in a minute um, to give that extra protection. And, of course, I use my um, my soul light oil, my Batala oil, and I anoint my head, my crown every single day with that oil um, to give me that extra my neck. I always keep my neck protected with the oil, my crown. I always keep that, especially around here. You anoint your crown around here, around your headline, your temples, your third eye, you know, your neck, the back of your neck, because the back of your neck is a very um, vulnerable place spiritually and my hands. So we just talking some protection talk. Um, and I also anoint my hands. And I think people forget to anoint their hands and protect their hands. Because when you're touching things out in public, um, and also people want to shake your hand, you want to be mindful of whose hand you're shaking, transferring of energy, um, especially some people can curse you like that. You know that some cultures, um, particularly um, Haitian culture, have handshakes, OK, that um, you can get cursed. So you want to be mindful, like I anoint my hands, you know, um, just extra la layers of protection with my oils and stuff like that. When you going around connecting with people, in fact, it's um, in African tradition is a big thing, different handshakes and stuff like that. My husband, he's actually Liberian American. He's second generation Liberian. He was born in um, New Jersey, grew up in Philly, which has a really huge um, Liberian population. But they have a, the men have a secret handshake. And I recently just found out about this. I was just like, what? This, all these years, I didn't know you had a secret handshake. But it just goes to show how... Um, powerful handshaking is um but my 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 niece she ended up marrying 
a man, he's Nigerian, and um, they eloped, it's whatever. But he, they shook hands. And then my husband was just like, oh, he knows our, our handshake. And I was just like, what handshake? You know, I never noticed because they do it so fast. Like even when he's around his family and stuff, I never noticed because they do it so fast. But it just goes to show how powerful handshakes are, hand gestures are. So um, also think about protecting yeah, hands. And we know also our hands, um, each of our fingers are connected to our chakras. Our hands themselves have um, merid meridians in them and just so much energy through the power of our hands. Also, my grandmother had healing hands. I have healing hands. So my daughter has healing hands. Flowing Reiki light. Reiki, for lack of better words, divine love, divine light. So we want to be mindful and also holding this phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? all this energy around our hands so that that's just something i kind of want to um share with you all about just protection things that we don't really think about you know um in terms of that um protecting our person protecting our person so i think that's it are you um y'all ready for the ritual we're gonna do the ritual and um that's gonna be about it like i said this is a foundational ritual you can use it every day i use it every day um you can use it anytime you go out in public you can use it whenever you get on social media you can use it whenever you go around folks you like i need to do a little extra <laughs> okay around that energy especially on social media please 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 protect yourself when you're on social media um and yeah i think that's it oh this is um, one of the foundational rituals for the Yanni Soul Journey. I'm really excited about the Yanni Soul Journey. Um, I don't know if y'all hear my daughter. <laughs> I kind of locked her around. Mama, I'll be out in a minute, okay? Okay, okay, I'll be out in a minute, okay, my darling? All right, I love you. Give me a minute, okay? Anyway, my daughter, y'all. Um, so, um, I forget what I was going to say. Okay, anyway, I'm a mom. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, just, I just forgot what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the um, the Yanni Soul um, ritual. And my daughter, actually, she's part of my womb story. She's my magic baby. She's my miracle. One of my miracles, both of my children. Um, so I don't mind sharing. Like, I always talk about how I felt her in spirit. She's my soul baby and just, like, the story behind her. But um, I love her so much. So anyway, um. So the, yeah. Oh yeah. So the protection, um, if you're getting through this thing, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Cause I, I haven't been live in a minute, but I just want to share a few things. Cause you know, sometimes spirit just dropped things to me as I'm speaking. So, um, I want you to be mindful of that. So I feel goddess Ushun here. So we want to give thanks for her presence. We want to give thanks for her presence. Um, today is Ushun day. So we want to say thank you. Thank you for her essence. Thank you for her attraction principle. Thank you for her love. Thank you for her light. Thank you for her sweetness. Thank you for her goodness. Thank you for her protection. You know, Mother Shun will protect you. Her sacred um, symbol is the alligator. And I know when I go to the waters and I feel that that totem, the alligator, that's the real totem, the real spirit. Okay. Um, that we're um, protected. So I want to give thanks for Goddess Ushu for blessing the circle that is kind of open today. The circle is open today. Um, the Yanni So Love Circle. So I invite you in. You can come on in the circle. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a good time. Um, but what I wanted to make sure you all had, whether you're coming in a circle or not, is protecting your energy. Because, listen, when you do altar work particularly going into an intensive journey where we're continuously doing ritual, we're gathering in circle, we're holding this um, intention for ourselves, for our sisterhood. Spirit got us, is holding us, okay? Um, and you're doing this, these rituals, daily rituals, weekly rituals, giving your offerings. We doing our moon circle, we're doing our journey, you know, doing our um our um our journaling, our diary, and we're really holding going in in spirit, um, and doing our womb witching and you know, doing our, our yoni massages and all of our rituals that spirit has given me to share with you. You got to protect that energy, okay? Because what you're doing is you're raising, continuously raising energy every single day. And those of us, greetings, 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 Sister Pam. I haven't seen you in a long time. Um, I'm just talking about protection. I'm talking about the next journey. Um, you haven't been in a journey yet. I'm waiting for your behind to get into a journey, Miss Pam. I haven't seen you in a journey yet. But um, 
I'm talking about the journey and I'm talking about not just the, this journey that's coming in, the Yanni Soul Love journey, but when you are continuously practicing, okay? Because that's what this is about. This is about practicing. When you are continuously practicing and practicing does not mean you have to burn your, your candles every single day. You have to go to your altar and do all this heavy stuff, baths every single day, but holding sacred intention. You, we are the temple. We are the altar. That's one of my slogans. <laughs> if you've been following me for these years and we've been connected, I always tell people you are the altar. So you yourself need needs protection. So, um, what, but when you do and you work your altar, which is you, okay, when you work your altar, particularly holding a specific intention, we use our spiritual power to transform our physical existence into the earth. So what, whatever intentions that you're holding, whatever workings that you're holding on to, whatever you got going on in your life, you do not want to just leak the energy, so you want to protect the energy. So I'm speaking just in general, because one of these rituals is just an easy ritual that I'm giving you is I'm not saying that it's the all in all, but I use it and I feel pretty good about it. Um, but you want to protect the energy, especially though, my sisters who are coming in this journey. Now we are raising Yanni soul energy, sensual energy, goodness. We are developing and expanding our relationship with goodness, our intimacy with goodness. And when you do that, you're going to be feeling good. <laughs> okay. You're going to be, you know, we want to do our masturbation ritual. We want to do our massage. We want to, we're going to be um, really playing around with our senses and all that stuff and raising all that Yanni soul energy we got to protect that. <laughs> okay. That needs to be protected. What you don't want to do is raise all this energy and just be out there. Okay. So we want to do some, some extra, um, you know, mindfulness of uh, protection. Cause you don't want to leak your Yanni juice that you're building up. Ashe. So this is foundational. So if you're ready, um, and I invite you in the Yanni soul, circle uh is all in the group is <laughs> all posted in the group but i opened today so i give thanks um i'm so thankful for goddess ushun and all the rituals that she has given and her guidance in this journey to connect us deeper with ourselves and our pleasure and our goodness so this here is a foundational protection i'm calling this the rose protection um uh bubble of per personal light so First off, we're going to do it. We're going to do it now. So what I want you to do is um, connect with your womb space. We don't do anything without connecting to our to our womb first. OK, so we want to connect to our womb space first. So can you hear me clearly? Everything good. I see it's four of y'all, which is wonderful. Um, thank you. But I want to make sure that you can hear me and things like that, because I get in spirit and I'll be going on and won't even realize. So. If you can hear me, that's awesome. I would just want to make sure I don't check out uh, the audio. Okay. So first off, I want you to relax. Just take some regular deep breaths. Put your hand over your heart. <sighs> Release any excess energy. <sighs> make that noise just like that. Like take a deep breath in. Exhale. <sighs> ah, yes, yes, yes. I surrender. Ah, mm, I feel so good. Feel so good. That's one of my mantras. Hmm. Feel so good. It does. It does. It feels good to breathe. Ah, feel so good. Next, I want you to drop down into your womb space. You can hold um, the orange light. It's the easiest. If you have a sacred totem for your womb, you can connect with your sacred totem. I have a flower. Um, and you just connect with that sacred totem. Drop down into your womb space. You know that when you are nestled in your womb, you are safe. You have ancestral energy there. You have all your power. That's your power center. Drop down into your womb space and feel the safetyness of your own womb. Feel the power of your own womb. Connect gently with your womb and breathe. <sighs> I release all negative energy from my womb. I breathe in love into my yoni. <sighs> Let's say that again. I release all negative energy to my from my womb. I breathe compassion into my yoni. <sighs> I release all negative energy from my womb. 
I breathe compassion into my yawny. <sighs> Ooh, ay, I feel that. <laughs> okay. Now that you have that there and you're feeling really good in your womb, you can put your hand back over your heart. Okay. Put your hand back over your heart. I want you to just take some deep breaths, just gentle, deep breaths. And then I'm going to guide you. <sighs> just settle there. Settle in that space. Settle that space into your heart center. <sighs> feel so good. Mm, you feel that energy? Feel the pulse of your heart. <sighs> we set the intention now for our protection. <sighs> feel so good. Mm. <sighs> Now, what I want you to do right in front of the, your your body, right there, directly aligned with your heart, I want you to see a bubble of light, a purple bubble, really rich color, purple color, really beautiful purple bubble. You know, like the bubble when you when you were a little girl and you would blow bubble gum, <laughs> and you'll make that 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 bubble. That's the size bubble I want you to see. Right in front of your heart. Feel that energy there. That is your bubble of protection. And I want you to take deep breaths. With every deep breath, that bubble grows bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, so take a deep breath. <sighs> See that bubble go bigger. <sighs> bigger. <sighs> bigger <sighs> your bubble keeps growing to is the size and length of your body <sighs> it's longer and longer wider and wider until your entire being can fit inside that bubble <sighs> feel it getting larger <sighs> Feel the energy all around you. <sighs> now your bubble is the size of your body from head to toe. And you are encamped inside this beautiful, dark, protective, purple bubble of light. <sighs> mm. I want you to feel that energy on your body. Feel the protective purple light all over your pores, seeping into your energetic fields, in your aura, and your chakras. Ooh, feel that purple light. Just sit there in that for a little while. Feel your protection. And then I want you to look in your hand and feel a rose. And this rose is pink. And you can choose any color you like. This morning my rose was yellow. So whichever color rose come to you, allow that color rose to come to you. And it's in your right hand. It's in your projective hand. You are projecting protection. It's in your power hand. What color is your rose? I see a beautiful pink rose. I want you to hold on to that energy. Remember that the rose is one of the highest vibrations in the earth. And that that pink represents all the love. All the beauty that is you. That's what that rose is. And that rose also has some thorns to protect you. And it simply means that you are the rose. You are beauty. You are love. But you are not to be fooled with. Okay, you know how to protect yourself and you guard yourself and you share only a little bit of that essence. Share just enough of yourself to where you do not leak your energy. You see, flowers are so beautiful, but they also protect themselves. They know how gorgeous they are. And this rose says, yes, you can view me. You can see me. You can gaze upon my beauty. But I'm going to protect myself. 
So hold that pink, beautiful rose and take it some more deep breaths and just feel that energy. <sighs> feel so good. Mm. It's a beautiful dark purple bubble surrounding you. And this beautiful pink rose. Now on the outside of this bubble that represents the other, there is another rose. And on the outside of this rose, this rose is yellow where you choose the color this morning my other rose was multiple colors that represented multiple energies everyone has all kind of different auric fields and different colors so if it's easier for you imagine the other rose is multiple colors See it on the outside of the bubble. This is the rose that represents the other, other energies, other people, social media, everything outside of you. See that other rose. Take some deep breaths. Now you're just going to take your pink rose. You're just going to drop one little pink drop. On that, on that other rose, just one little drop to share just enough of you, not to deplete you, not to leak your yoni juice, your goodness, not for you to be taken advantage of. You are sharing just enough of yourself. Take a drop of your pink love energy and drop it, boop, right there on that other rose. Ashe. And that is it. Take some deep breaths. <sighs> that is the meditation. That is the ritual. You are safe. Mm, it feels so good. Remember, you can use this at any time. You start with a bubble. You take your deep breaths. You could choose the color of your bubble, my loves. Most mornings, my bubble is gold for Goddess Ushun gold light and i just see that bubble in front of me and i just blow it up and i blow it up and i blow it up with each breath till it gets big big as my body and then i feel that energy on my skin and my pores and everything that i am and i sit in that bubble for a little while and i rest there till i really feel safe and then my rose comes to me and i it's all kind of different color roses come to me i hold on to my rose I give just a little drop of my own energy to the other rose. You choose which other color you want for the others. The others rose. <laughs> Those outside of you. You choose that color. You give a little drop. Boom. And you come in. That is it. And you're safe and you're protected. Ashe, I want to give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks for your protection. Use this as often as you need. I thank you. Thank you so much for being in this circle. Thank you for those who are coming into this journey. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. I'm going to post this. Um, and I'll hit finish and then you could go back and watch it. Those who just came on, I talked about some protection and stuff.